Hey, what's up guys? It's Shooks. Um, so in this video, I'll be talking, uh, or recapping my 2000th win on Ultimate Team a while back. Uh, you probably, if you guys were in the live stream uh, a few days ago, you prob probably saw this game live. Uh, and as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, I was at 1,999 wins. So I thought it'd be funny if I could get the 2000th win versus Jones. So I asked him, uh, I asked him for a game and he agreed to it, so uh, this was the result of the game. You guys will see like highlights and goals in the background. Uh, but I also wanted to talk about uh, just personal FIFA goals uh, in general. So like before FIFA 16 came out, uh, I don't know if you guys saw my tweets then, but I had like a few goals in mind that I wanted to achieve. So um, one of them was 2,000 wins before 100 losses. It's just something... I did to help me, uh, I guess, to just help keep the game interesting for me after, you know, I get the high rated players and stuff. Um, it was something I did last year, so I, I thought it'd be cool if I could repeat it again. Um, one thing I couldn't manage to do though was get a thousand wins before, uh, 50 losses just because I got off to a really bad start this FIFA. Um, as you guys, may know like I tweeted out raging about the game a lot at the beginning because it took a while for me to adapt to the game so I actually ended up getting to 999 wins and 50 losses exact so I could have hit I guess somewhat hit my goal but I ended up losing that next game I remember uh, and I was pretty uh, salty about that but yeah I did manage to get to my uh, main goal I suppose of 2000 wins before 100 losses so I was pretty pleased with that um, I guess one thing that did help me throughout this FIFA, like I always mention, is if you could use the same formation for like a long duration of games, it really helps a lot. Uh, because even at one point, I was kind of doubting what formation I want to roll with for this FIFA. I felt like the four one two one two was be well not was being was like getting stagnant for me just because at the beginning of the game, as you guys know, I didn't like the four one two one two wide, so I had to find a new formation and. Initially, the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow was giving me success, but after a while, I still wasn't winning as much as I wanted to. Like, my win percentage at one point was like 79%, and like, for me, that's pretty low because I had like 90% last year, so I even lowered my expectations too because I didn't expect to, I guess, start winning as much as I was last year, so. But yeah, playing, I mean, playing a lot, even watching back gameplay helped me a lot. Um, what else? Sticking with the same formation, just, uh, playing other good people as well. Like, the fact that, um, I managed to go from 79% to, I think, 87 in, like, less than a month was pretty amazing to me because I honestly did not think I would, um, I guess win as much as I did last year just because I was, like, struggling, uh, big time at the beginning. So it definitely, uh, like, even was a surprise to me as well. Um, but I guess other goals I did have, um, I wanted to get into the top three of, like, Foothead Nexus like I was, uh, last year. I was even number one overall for a while, but, um, like, if you guys know, Foothead Nexus wasn't, uh, uh, wasn't a feature this year just because the, like, stats for, uh, Xbox One and PC weren't available, so, like, they couldn't do overall leaderboards for, like, all three platforms, so... That goal, I guess, didn't count. Uh, one goal that I didn't really share but I wanted to achieve was win uh, Gfinity Cup. Just because people kept doubting if I could ever win one and stuff. So uh, it was, I guess, good to get that monkey off the back. Um, and I also wanted to win one just as, I guess, to prove something to myself. Um, I didn't record any of the games nor live stream it. Uh, just because I wanted to focus to increase my chances of winning. Um, but also, um, what's it called? Uh, I do wish I recorded the games because there was a few good games in there, but, uh, what's funny to me in that Gfinity, um, Ultimate Team Cup that I played, it was on Xbox One too, so I'm, I was a bit surprised that I ended up winning. Um, but what's funny is I ended up playing, uh, Suat in the final, and if you guys know Suat from, like, Twitch, he's also a sub of mine, and he's a really good player, and, um, He's actually never beat me this FIFA, so the fact that I ended up getting him in the final and he didn't know it was me, and I didn't tell him until after I beat him, I thought that was hilarious. Um, but yeah, I ended up winning that Gfinity Cup. I guess the next uh, goal I have for this FIFA, since we're almost like 
um, coming to the end of this FIFA, I guess it would be to get 2,000 season wins before 100 season losses, and I feel like I'm on pace to do that, so I'll probably achieve that as well, but like after that, there's really not much for me to play for, I suppose. Um, I, this is kind of where I wish like FIFA in general had like more challenges, weekly, daily, something to play for. And like I even, I mentioned this on Twitter, but I feel like if FIFA had like a progressive system or something, they could increase the lifespan of the game even more. And I know a lot of people still play the game a lot. Like I'm still playing the game a lot just because I have fun playing, but, um, I really do feel like they could in, like implement a progressive system just to improve the game even more. Um, but, I mean, we'll see, I suppose, what happens. Um, I guess FIFA 17 goals will still be the same. Like, I always want to get to 1,000 wins before 50 losses. And uh, 2,000 wins before 100 losses. It's just, it just, it's just something of a grind that keeps me going and makes it fun for me as well. Um, but yeah, that was the end of the game. I ended up winning 8-1. Uh, I think it was. Yeah, it was 8-1. Um... Usually games versus Jones are pretty close, but I have no idea what happened this game. It was just, I guess, one of those games where everything goes right for me and everything ended up going wrong, like for Jones. But usually games between um, him and I are pretty close. It was, I guess, it was just one of those games. But oh uh, yeah, as you can see, we ended up getting two thousand wins uh, with ninety-five draws and ninety losses. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the end of this video. Let me know if you guys have any personal FIFA goals and if you've managed to achieve them. Um, also, let me know, um, I suppose, um, what your goals are for next FIFA, if you have any as well. If you want to uh, share, share that in the comments, you can feel free to. But yeah, guys, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And thanks a ton for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.